When you look at the Sky Rover X1 for the first time, it's hard not to think, wait a minute, haven't I seen this drone before? And the answer is, sort of. The X1 is the latest entry into the competitive world of sub 250 gram drones. And at first glance, it looks strikingly similar to DJI's Mini 4 Pro, which has pretty much become the gold standard in this category. But are they really in the same league? Or is the X1 just another flashy clone? Today we're diving deep into both of these ultra-light drones, feature by feature, flight by flight, and dollar by dollar. Whether you're a casual pilot, content creator, or a pro looking for a reliable backup drone, you'll want to hear how these two stack up. Let's start with the basics, size and weight. Both drones come in under 250 grams, which means they avoid registration requirements in many countries. That's a major selling point, especially for travelers, beginners, or anyone who wants to stay legal without paperwork. The Sky Rover X1 is a compact, foldable drone that feels solid and lightweight. It includes forward-facing obstacle sensors, two rear sensors, and downward sensors, which enable 360-degree omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. There's also a USB-C charging port and a micro SD card slot. However, it lacks onboard internal storage, something that DJI includes with 8GB built into the Mini 4 Pro. The Mini 4 Pro carries over DJI's signature design language with a slightly more polished feel. You'll notice it has upward sensors in addition to front, back, and downward ones, giving it an advantage in complex vertical environments. The DJI design is also cleaner, with better integration of vents, lights, and seams. Both drones are similarly portable, but DJI's build feels more refined overall. There are also key structural differences between the two. The Sky Rover X1 has different sensor placements, no LED landing light, a different shell finish, and a unique camera cover. More importantly, the X1 doesn't support lens attachments or ND filters, which is a limitation for creators who rely on them for controlling shutter speed and exposure. Camera-wise, this is where things get really interesting. On paper, both drones are nearly identical. They each use a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor with an f1.7 aperture, and they both shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. They can also capture 4K at 100 frames per second for slow motion. The Sky Rover X1 even supports a flat color profile for post-production flexibility, and it has a surprisingly effective night mode that helps produce well-exposed footage in low-light situations. A standout feature of the Sky Rover X1 is its rotatable camera, which allows true vertical filming using the full sensor. That's a major win for social media creators shooting for platforms like TikTok or Instagram Reels. The DJI Mini 4 Pro matches almost all of this, but with additional refinements. It supports HDR video, D-Log-M, and HLG color profiles for more advanced grading. It also has better color tuning right out of the box. And unlike the Sky Rover X1, it accepts ND filters and polarizing lenses, giving you full creative control. If you're a professional or serious hobbyist, that flexibility matters. In terms of transmission, the Sky Rover X1 uses a system called SkyBridge. It's rated for a maximum range of 15 kilometers. While you'll never actually fly that far, the important thing is signal strength, which holds up well. DJI's OcuSync 4.0 in the Mini 4 Pro is rated for 20 kilometers and is one of the most reliable transmission systems in the industry. It delivers low latency, high definition live video, and consistent performance. The Sky Rover X1 includes full obstacle avoidance with sensors on the front, back, and bottom. These sensors are active in scene and normal modes, but are disabled in sport mode. You can customize the avoidance behavior to either stop when it detects an object or try to bypass it. It also includes a fail-safe return to home feature that kicks in when the battery is low or if signal is lost, returning the drone to its takeoff point with decent accuracy. 
The DJI Mini 4 Pro takes things a step further with upward sensors and APIS 5.0. That means it can not only avoid obstacles more effectively, but also reroute itself automatically to continue flying smoothly. Its return to home system is more precise and includes better rerouting around obstacles. DJI also supports customizable cruise control, which allows for smooth hands-free cinematic shots. Overall, DJI's system feels more advanced and tested, though the X1 does a solid job considering its price point. The Sky Rover X1 packs in a full suite of intelligent flight modes. Focus Track includes point of interest, spotlight, and active track for subject tracking. Waypoint missions let you set and save custom flight paths, even with KMZ file support. You can capture panoramas that auto-stitch in the app, record hyperlapses, and even use gesture controls for selfies. All of these features work surprisingly well, not just in theory, but in actual flight. The Mini 4 Pro includes all of these modes and expands on them. It offers active track 360 degrees, master shots, quick shots, and more advanced waypoint tools with customizable camera angles and smoother transitions. DJI's automation is a bit more refined, with better gimbal movement and more reliable object recognition during tracking. The X1's batteries are not cross-compatible with DJI. Physically and digitally, they're locked out. The charger supports parallel charging for three batteries, but lacks USB-A ports for charging accessories. That's fine for most users, but if the brand disappears, getting replacement batteries might be impossible, something that happened with other short-lived clone brands like Spectre. DJI, on the other hand, offers ecosystem longevity. Its batteries are supported across multiple retailers, and the Mini 4 Pro supports optional extended flight time batteries though they do push the drone over 250 grams. The controller is solid, it's compact, has removable sticks, and includes cables for USB-C and Lightning. It even feels slightly more ergonomic than DJI's RCN1. DJI gives you options. The RCN2 for use with your phone, or the RC2 with a built-in display. Their system is better integrated and has more customization, The Sky Rover X1 is clearly marketed as an affordable alternative to the Mini 4 Pro. The Fly More bundle costs $898, hundreds less than DJI's Fly More combo, which costs more than $1,000. But that affordability comes with some questions. According to some reviewers, the Sky Rover app appears to use DJI's FlySafe API backend. The UI is nearly identical to the DJI Fly app. Same layout, same menus, even the legal disclaimers were nearly copy-pasted. The app was originally listed under a different brand, Sky Any Drone, before changing to Sky Rover just before launch. This has led many to believe the X1 is either a licensed DJI product, much like Anzu Robotics' rebranded Mavic 3 Enterprise, or a strategic DJI workaround to navigate possible US import bans. While this could make the X1 more, appealing to users locked out of DJI options in the US. It also means you're placing your trust in a brand with uncertain long-term support and no confirmed link to DJI. So should you go for the Sky Rover X1 or stick with the DJI Mini 4 Pro? The X1 offers impressive performance, a solid camera, and smart features for much less money. But it's still a gamble with an unproven brand and limited support. DJI gives you a polished experience and long-term reliability, but with rising uncertainty. The 2025 U.S. defense bill could lead to a ban, and most DJI models are already out of stock at major retailers. That puts the Sky Rover X1 in a very interesting spot. For some, it might be a temporary backup. For others, it could become their primary tool. But the big question still stands. Would you take the risk for the value or stick with the name you know? Let us know in the comments.